Welcome back to Cypher, the show that takes caregiving stories and turns them into songs. In this episode, we collaborate with Neverending White Lights and Story. I'm so happy we booked Neverending White Lights. He's collaborated with legendary artists from Rain Maida to Dallas Green to Hoxley Workman. I mean, the guy's a musical genius. And Story picked up a Juno nom this year for her amazing new single, Another Man. Which may or may not be about me. Let's check it out. It came in over the dispatch, and I had this sixth sense, like, this is bad. Now maybe um, E to D. I was a caregiver innately, I think, but when I was 21, my mom had a ruptured brain aneurysm. The level of psychosis was so extreme. I didn't really have any time to be a young adult. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. We actually have a lot in common. Collaborate from scratch. This one's a little darker, melodically. Okay. But people were like, look at you, you're keeping your family together. You went to college, this is great, and you're so strong. Right, okay. And as time went by, I got hired as a paramedic. Honored by the applause. All the applause, all of my flaws. A lot of us, we're trying to take care of others when we're not healed ourselves. Yeah, no, I, I'm okay, like I'm good. I received the Board of Governors Award. Oh, look at you go. In the arena, nobody sees it, but I'm lost in all the noise. If I looked in the mirror, there was this perfectionist mask put together and strong. She's in this pain behind the mask. Inside, I'm falling to pieces. Maybe there's some part of your struggle that you could connect to hers. The mirror, the, the mask, well, I, the, I relate to that. That can lend itself to like a bridge. With the mask upon my face. The mask upon my face. And it went to, I would rather die than see what's behind this mask. So we put face on and I started drinking. Then I don't have to feel the pain of what it looks like behind that mask. I didn't take the mask off. Keep it going, keep it going. It, it fell off. It was a double murder call and I don't remember anything about that. And, and then I lost one of my friends that I got hired with by suicide. I think we all at some point face what we call like the dark night of the soul, is this point where you just hit rock bottom in your life. Building back up. Playback. A, B, she's a dispatcher. Number one, we were best friends at first. You want one more? Yeah, please. And when I was overdosing, I didn't know I was texting her, but she could tell something was wrong. Focus. Somebody saw me and she called my phone. Davey opened her home, gave me love, and pure acceptance of who I was without the mask. See some of demons and all of my reasons. Now I'm put in the pieces back together again. Self healing is always the number one, you know realize you need to have some sort of support. Because we all have to start inside. There's an outpatient program at my hospital, and AB called it Save My Life School. She says, you need to go to Save My Life School today. Yeah, it wasn't an option. We'll try it. She was my tough love. She just believed that I could get better. Yeah, I feel that. I'm like, I'm deserving of care. Yeah, I can turn it around. I like that turn it around sort of thing. It feels powerful. Mm. And everything changed. And then the course. I'm so mask free. It's probably too far mask free sometimes. <laughs> yeah. She's full disclosure. You gotta celebrate the mask freeness. That's why I covered myself with my story. I hope that people can try to heal their own traumas. I think a lot of people think I'm not that bad, but it's not about being that bad. That's me. That's me. Yeah. The 
asks me in the mirror. Talking about it is the beginning of getting better. Story on my skin so you know that it's real. That's me. That's me. At the end of the day, even superhero caregivers like Paramedic Nat need a shoulder to lean on. My friend AB didn't wear a paramedic uniform, but she was one of the biggest caregivers in my life. To the caregivers out there trying to keep their loved ones alive, don't give up. They can get to the other side. Natalie is proof of that. Watching this talented crew use my story and make something beautiful, I just wish I could hug them all right now. <laughs> I love it, and I can't wait to share it. <laughs> thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. To the pain that I feel. No.